I hope you've had a great week so far. I just woke up and today's a very special day because it is my sorority's formal. We're having it later tonight at a brewery and I just have a couple things to get done. Actually just one and that's a meeting at 11.30. Um, so I have a pretty fun day planned and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. The calm before the storm. On that note, we'll just call this smoothie the calm before the storm. All you're gonna need is a frozen banana, frozen spinach, pineapple, some sun butter, in my case, because I'm allergic to nuts, cinnamon and coconut water. It was delicious and the perfect start to my morning. I've decided that today is a PJ day because my meeting got canceled, so I really don't have anything to do except for go to formal tonight. I am working on a blog post dedicated to my roommate Megan about alternatives to wearing flip-flops or some cute flip-flops for the summer, so stay tuned for that. That'll be in the description down below. Um, but I'm just so excited for tonight. This is the first, I would say, normal formal that we have ever had or that I've ever had because the first one got canceled due to COVID and then the second one, we had a lot of like restrictions where we were only able to have like two pledge classes um, at the venue per night and only one pledge class um, at an allotted time. So this will be the first time that everyone will be together. So there's no telling what the night has in store for all of us. This is what it looks like so far. And one of my roommates, Shay, was asking me yesterday, like how long it takes for me to write a blog post. And I would say it takes about two days total. So I can like go back and edit everything. The first day I'll usually like come up with an idea and then um, just like brainstorm a bit. And then the second day is when I'll really add to the meat to it and just like finalize it, add all the photos to it. Also to clarify what I just said in the last frame, it doesn't take me like two total days to write it. Um, I normally write blog posts while I am doing like schoolwork or like in the breaks in between doing so. So total, it takes me about like an hour to two hours to do everything. I like to space it in between two days so it's not like so much work on top of the schoolwork that I already have. Blog post is just published. So now I'm gonna shower myself tan off and then do my nail art. I really hope that I'm not gonna be behind because I just realized that I wasted like two hours on TikTok and just like scrolling on my phone this morning. So fingers crossed that I get it all done in time. The best sight you will ever see. <laughs> LJ with her formal hair. We're getting margaritas at Kona. <laughs> With her formal hair. <laughs> so we're back now. I just put a little roller in my bangs for maintenance. And a weird flex that I can talk about is that my dad is a hairdresser, so he blew up my hair last night. So I looked so good when I woke up this morning. It's not how it usually looks at all. Um, so he just makes my life so much easier and he has always cut my hair and like styled it before any big event that I have coming up. So I'm so grateful for him. Also in the time being, I steamed my dress that I'm going to wear, got her from ASOS and she is beautiful. I want to say that it was like 70 or $80 when I got it and it moved up to 95 but it has this open back and then a little scoopy front. I can't turn it around right now, but you'll see it in a few minutes. So now I'm gonna start on my makeup. I'm thinking of doing this look that Bella Hadid had. I, I wanna say it was either cons or some recent big red carpet event that she went to where she had this beautiful, like glowy bronze look going on. And my intention is for that to tie in with my dress and my shoes. Oh, and maybe I can even make a video on it if it turns out well. I'll keep you posted. But mostly everything is from ASOS except for these earrings, which are from Madewell. And I'm just gonna back up to give you all a full look. Hooah! <laughs> and then shoes also ASOS. I'm not gonna wear these to the event because I would definitely snap my ankle in half, but yeah. I can't wait. Walk into the place, dispatch your from a race. My heart, it started racing. The crowd across the way, flowers on your face, and then I'm from the 80s. Someone keeps back in my way. So right now, 
y'all it is sunday night not the night of formal anymore and in full transparency i try to make this video be one where i was able to take you through the whole event but god had other plans for me my day ended up taking my phone with him <laughs> i am still trying to backtrack and remember how that happened not coming to me oops um, so yeah, that was the last clip that I got of the night, but I thought that it would be fun to show what ended up happening with me getting my phone back and everything the next morning, which was a really funny experience. <laughs> I had to email my sister, um, right as I woke up, just telling her like what had happened and then asking if she would go back to his fraternity house to retrieve it with me, which she said yes to and I bought her Waffle House for coming along with me. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna show y'all the full experience right now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, if you have any sort of content ideas that you want to see from me, just comment it down below and I would be more than happy to try it out. Have a great week and I'll see you in the next video.